All right, man. Uh, let's do a J. Cole tier list. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Starting us off at the bottom, we got the sideline story. Some sucks, honestly. That's all I really got to say. Uh, I like, there's like two decent songs on here with Workout, Dollar in a Dream 3. Other than that, though, there's really nothing on here. It's, it's just boring. It's dated. It's boring. That's all I really got to say, man. Um, it's like a light two for me, honestly. I really, I really have like nothing else to say about this album. Uh, yeah, and then D tier, uh, we got, <laughs> this is gonna make someone mad, uh, it's Born Sinner. <laughs> this album sucks, uh, I, it doesn't suck, it, it's just mid, man, it's just mid, it's mid, mid, mid Cole, I'm kidding, but, um, yeah, so J. Cole, like, he, he they, oh my god, dude, he butchers the art of storytelling part one beat. Yeah, he, he butchers it hard for some reason and puts this, like, really nasty bass on it for some reason that, like, no one asked for. Um, so that that's that's already a big point knocked off of here, for me at least. And then everything else, like, I, I like the song Forbidden Fruit. That's about all I remember from here. Other than that, though, I don't remember much. It's forgettable. Um, yeah, that's all I really got to say. Like, he, he literally butchers that beat for no reason. Like, does it no justice at all to me. Yeah, I got nothing really more to say. Uh, yeah, and it also has this... Uh, <laughs> the opener to this album actually has one of his worst bars ever. That being the F slur bars that don't need to exist. Like, seriously, why do those happen? Literally no reason for that to happen. Um, yeah, this album kind of sucks. It, it does kind of suck, I'll be honest. Um, it's a light to decent four for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna make someone mad. Anyways, though, above it we got the off season. This album's also kind of mid. I was expecting much more because before I listened to this album, I heard tracks like "Punch in the Clock." Um, what's the one song called? What's it called? "Applying Pressure." That's a good song. That's a really good song. Those are some of my favorite J Cole songs. But like everything else, man. It's not, it's not much, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like the trap production. I'm not a big trap fan. But like on here, it just sounds so like wet. That, uh, that's the best way I could describe the production. It's kind of wet sounding. Um, it's, it's just, it's nothing special. Uh, oh wait, that's, this is, there's one thing on this album that just sucks and that's the singing. I don't understand why J. Cole is using autotune. He sings on For Your Eyes Only in 2014 and it sounds fine to me, I like it. But like on here, he uses this like weird warbly autotune and I don't like it at all um yeah the autotune on here sucks uh yeah this album is just mid man it's mid it's a decent five it's got quality and the, some of the production is really good but it's just like it's mid man that's all I really gotta say staying in D tier we got KOD this is also kind of mid it, it's it's a decent album I'll give it that um I like the production on here, kind of. I, I think that this album has some good highlights on it, like Kevin's Heart, 1985, that song's really good. I also really like, uh, I think it's called ATM, the song where he goes, Canada, Canada. I like that song quite a bit. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have much more to say. It all kind of blends together for me, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It's a decent album. I think I just put it in D tier because it, it just isn't like on par with the albums that I'm gonna throw in C tier. Uh, KOD is like a light to decent six. It's It's got quality on it, but it's nothing special. Um, and then going into C tier, we got the come up. Pretty sure that's what, the, yeah, this one's a come up. Uh, it's long. Yippee. That's all I really got to say. I feel like J. Cole's mixtapes all sound the same. After I listened to the warm up, which was the first one I listened to for some reason, um, they all just kind of sound the same after that. Uh, they all kind of blend together. That's all I really gotta say. Come Up doesn't have any significant highlights, doesn't have any significant like, oh wow moments, but it's just good, it's decent, it's a light seven. Um, yeah, above it though, Friday Night Lights. Um, this one has a big highlight with him rapping over Didn't You Know, that's cool. But other than that, I don't really have much more to say. It sounds like every other J. Cole mixtape. And then the warm up at the top, cause I listened to this one first, so I wasn't worn out by it yet. Um, it's a good, I actually might throw it in B tier. 
I actually like this one quite a bit. I think that, I think it's just consistent. There's certain beats on here that like are familiar to me where I'm like, oh, I, I remember that, that sounds familiar. I don't know the names of the beats, but there are some beats on here that I recognize. And I was like, oh, cool. That's cool that he's rapping over those. But other than that, it's it's really nothing special. Or it's, it, it's good. It's a good J. Cole album, I'll say that. Uh, yeah, Warm Up is a strong seven to a light eight. It could be a light eight for me, but I don't know. Um, and if I didn't rate Friday Night Lights, it's a decent seven, my bad. Okay, now we're talking about the albums that I actually really like. Um, Bottom of S tier, 2014. This album's really good, man. I love the production on here. I think it's a super well-rounded, super clean album. It's super fun. Um, it's just, it sounds like nostalgic, even though like I didn't even listen to this album. And I'm not even a huge J. Cole fan, if you couldn't tell. Um, I just, I, I feel like this album, it sounds like J. Cole is taking a trip back to his childhood. And I kind of like that. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, man. It's really special, honestly. Uh... Yeah, it's got a lot of good songs on here, like Love Yours. What's that one song? Uh, Firing Squad, that song's really good. O3 Adolescence is fantastic. It's got some really good songs on here, I'll say that. It's super consistent. Uh, yeah, it's a decent nine, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I really like this album. Love it, though. We got my favorite J. Cole project, that's For Your Eyes Only. Um, I listened to this album at like the right time and the right place. I, It was just like, like the sun was coming down and like the sunset is kind of going through the window and it's just like you it kind of feels very i don't know relaxing and paired with this album in the very um smooth production that it has honestly man it, it just hit at the right time honestly uh, it's got a lot of good songs on here like neighbors or is it neighborhoods i don't remember that song's really good vile mentality i'm pretty sure that's what it's called that song's really good she's mine part one and two fantastic the closer of course i mean come on and then For Whom the Bell Tolls, that's one of my favorites. Uh, this album's really good, man. It's a decent two strong nine for me. I really like this project. It's easily J. Cole's best. And there's my J. Cole tier list. I made a community uh, tab post where I said that J. Cole fans will hate my tier list. And I already know that they're gonna hate this tier list. They're gonna be like, you just don't get it, man. You just don't get it. Objectively, J. Cole is the best rapper. Um, yeah, now, honestly. <laughs> J. Cole, J. Cole is a good rapper. He's a good rapper. He's a good rapper, but he's not He's not top 10. I will say that. And as I said, there's my J. Cole tier list. Glad you guys made it this far. Share your rankings in the comments as always. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one.